What's going on guys? Today's show we're going to be covering the Z-Press. It's a quick one, but a good one, so stay tuned. Firstly, you want to find yourself a squat rack or a half cage that you can set some safety rails on. Not only so you are safe and don't get squished, but more importantly so that the bar stops at the right height so you can do a dead stop. This is a Z-Press pin press variation. What you want to do is sit yourself on the floor with pins or safety rails at the height of the lowest part of your range of motion and you determine your width of grip based on your biomechanics. So if you take a look, I'm ensuring that my forearms remain vertical from the front and from the side profile as much as I can during the full range of motion. Obviously during a lockout, there's an exception because the hands are gonna be wider than the shoulder width. However, this is not the case if your hands were shoulder width, your arms would be vertical at the top uh, but it would be more tricep dominant and the elbows would have to swing around forward in front of you to maintain a vertical forearm from the side profile. There are many muscles being utilized to support this movement. However, the primary drivers are the deltoid muscles, so the shoulders, the tricep muscles, and there's definitely some core muscles working to stabilize your upright position because you don't have any backrest and your legs are out straight. So it's quite challenging in that regard. If you can perform this one safely, I recommend giving it a go. I'll do a freeze frame and highlight some muscles so you can get a better illustration of what's being used. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the like button and the bell icon. Drop a comment down below and we'll see you in the next one.